What does a grape say when it's squashed? Nothing. It just lets out a little wine. The movie opens with a well-known international thief named Cyrus, arriving at an auction venue in Italy. Inside, he bumps into Denton, but pretends they're strangers. Abby, an agent from Interpol, along with her crew, keeps an eye out in case Cyrus tries anything. As the auction progresses, Cyrus's accomplices Magnus, an expert in cracking safes, and Luke, a tech whiz, are gearing up in London. Following Molson's purchase of an artwork for 11 million, the auctioneer introduces a famous NFT creator, N8. In Eats NFT, a self-portrait mask built from 482 cameras will capture a live 30-second scene, including its own sale moment and the buyer. Abby suspects Cyrus is aware of Interpol surveillance. Cyrus and Denton outbid Molson, and right after their final offer, Nisun cuts the power. As the crowd disperses from the auction, Abby's suspicions grow, prompting her to dispatch her team. In London, Magnus hacks an electronic lock to access a storage facility and snatches a Von Ho masterpiece. Luke retrieves it after Magnus drops it into the river in a waterproof container. Cyrus extends an invitation to N8 to finalize their agreement on his yacht, making a discreet exit to meet Camilla, their pilot on a boat. Arriving after their departure, Abby figures they've kidnapped the artist, as an NFT can't be taken physically. She rushes out, boarding a boat to pursue them. However, Mi soon remotely uses another boat to block her way. Undeterred, Abby switches boats. Near the sea, Mi soon activates a blockade, allowing Camilla to pass but blocking Abby. Once aboard the yacht, Cyrus pays 20 million for the NFT, and they celebrate. Abby and her team, reviewing security footage, noticed Denton's limp was a sham and set out to find him. The next day, news of Inate's abduction hits the headlines. Inate, realizing he's in the midst of criminal panics, but Cyrus reassures him by explaining their strategy to mimic the increased value of the Mona Lisa post-theft. His group had stolen a Von Ho painting, selling it illicitly for 20 million to afford Inate's NFTs. With the kidnapping plot, N8's NFT's worth skyrockets to 89 million. N8, promised a share of 27 million, decides to join the celebration with Cyrus's team. Abby discovers proof that points to Denton's involvement in the heist and takes him into custody. She accuses Denton of committing fraud because he bid over $10 million at the auction without having the money to back it up, which qualifies him for extradition to the United States. Abby receives a package containing Cyrus's bidding paddle from the auction and photos from the week they spent together. Previously, Abby had a brief romance with Cyrus in Paris, unaware at the time that he was a skilled thief. Abby transports Denton to London. At the Interpol headquarters, she has a meeting with her boss, Huxley. They need to take down Lars Jorgensen, a notorious criminal responsible for numerous deaths, who eluded capture due to insufficient evidence. Huxley's plan involves leveraging their current situation to enlist Cyrus and his team's help in capturing Jorgensen. Jorgensen plans to collaborate with the hacker group Leviathan to orchestrate a massive flood in Europe, aiming to profit enormously from stock market manipulations. Previously, Jorgensen had made a fortune by betting against airline stocks following a tragic plane crash. Huxley reveals they have an insider, Arthur Teague, within Jorgensen's operation. Jorgensen is planning to move $500 million in unmarked gold bars from his London vault to Leviathan in Zurich on a commercial flight, a transaction that cannot be interfered with legally. Huxley's goal is for Cyrus and his team to hijack this gold shipment. During her visit to Cyrus in the evening, Abby learns that Cyrus is well aware of the risks involved with Jorgensen, but she antices him with an offer of complete immunity for him and his crew. Cyrus agrees on the condition that Abby joins their operation, arguing that her presence would ensure Interpol's support and protection throughout the mission, especially if things don't proceed as expected. The shipment of gold is scheduled to be transported to Heathrow Airport with high security measures in place. From there, it is to be loaded onto a commercial flight heading to Zurich. The team concludes that the only viable window to intercept the gold is while the aircraft is in flight. 
Cyrus agrees to convince N8 to create an exclusive NFT piece for Molson in return for the use of his jet, which Camila will pilot. She'll fly it directly below the commercial aircraft, allowing me soon to manipulate the radar signals to make it appear as though the commercial flight is proceeding as planned, while in reality, they divert it to a secluded airstrip. Misun highlights the slim odds of successfully jamming the commercial flight's radar and mirroring its signal on the private jet to avoid detection. Abby has an acquaintance, Harry, willing to assist for a hefty sum. Meanwhile, in Ireland, Jorgensen's hitman, Cormac, has been tormenting their informant, Teak. After enduring significant torture, Cormac forces Teak to be part of a gruesome video call with Jorgensen, showcasing a brutal end involving a dog. Subsequently, Jorgensen decides to expedite the gold shipment. Tensions rise between Huxley and Cyrus, with Cyrus expressing a desire to back out due to the Titan schedule. However, Abby convinces him to stay on board, emphasizing the mission's underlying goal of preventing further loss of life. This becomes even more pressing when the group learns of a devastating flood in Madrid caused by cyber terrorists, which has already resulted in 13 deaths, with expectations of more casualties. Feeling the operation's increased danger, Cyrus opts to proceed solo, but his team insists on facing the challenges together to thwart Jorgensen's plans. Jorgensen praises Leviathan for their destructive efforts from his home. Misun eventually completes the sophisticated GPS hacking device, which looks like a bomb. The team plans to disassemble it, smuggle the components on board disguised as everyday items, and reassemble it during the flight. The operation kicks off with Cyrus and Abby posing as a merry duo in the first-class section of the plane, while their team is scattered throughout the cabin. Cormac and four of his men are on board to protect the gold. The team communicates secretly through hidden earpieces, but Cyrus becomes concerned when he doesn't hear from Luke, who is dropped out of the mission due to fear of Jorgensen. Misun hacks into the plane systems, locating Jorgensen's men, signaling the need for cautious movement. Team members discreetly transport parts of their device to the bathroom, where Abby is tasked with assembling it quickly, with only 10 minutes before Camila's crucial maneuver. Abby rushes to put the device together, but unexpected turbulence causes it to dismantle. Cyrus comes to help as she struggles to meet the deadline. When Donald, one of the henchmen, checks on the prolonged bathroom occupancy, Abby creates a diversion by simulating noises suggestive of intimacy to deter him. Meanwhile, Camila faces her own challenges with signal loss and equipment failure, but manages to align the jet under the plane just in time. In celebration, Cyrus and Abby share a kiss. On the air traffic control, Harry creates a distraction by feigning an altercation, just as the equipment stabilizes and the duplicate signal reappears on air traffic control screens. Abby and Cyrus finally manage to reassemble the device, which successfully hacks the plane's system to eliminate the secondary signal. Harry then convinces the pilots of an impending storm, directing them towards a secluded airstrip in the Alps, while Camila uses a drone to keep the original flight path signal directed towards Zurich. As the pilots announce the detour, the team springs into action. Denton feigns illness to distract a flight attendant, allowing Magnus to sneak an oxygen tank into the cargo hold. Misun disrupts the plane's Wi-Fi and breaches the gold vault security, enabling Magnus to access the gold amidst challenging pressure changes. As the laser device works to penetrate the gold storage, the tension escalates. Donald, growing suspicious, threatens a flight attendant and demands access to the cockpit, an action observed by Abby. The situation intensifies when Cyrus confronts Donald, leading to a physical altercation and gunfire. Cyrus reacts quickly, tackling Donald and disarming him as another one of Georgensen's men comes at them. Abby leaps into action against the second attacker, managing to overpower him while Cyrus grapples with Donald. Magnus successfully breaches the vault and secures the gold. In the midst of the chaos, Donald retrieves his firearm, but Abby subdues the remaining henchmen. Cyrus, however, incapacitates Donald. Just as Cyrus attempts to join Magnus, Cormac intervenes, aiming his gun at Cyrus. The plane's landing on the icy runway results in a precarious slide until it collides. Meanwhile, Camila, piloting the private jet, 
narrowly avoids a similar fate, struggling to control the jet's slide to prevent a crash. Upon landing, Abby, Cyrus, Magnus, and Camilla find themselves captured and held at gunpoint. Cormac, after confirming the safety of the gold with Jorgensen over the phone, orders the gold to be moved. Cyrus proposes using a train due to the plane's heavy load, but Cormac opts for the private jet, taking everyone but Magnus hostage. Shortly after takeoff, Camilla covertly signals her teammates. She then flies erratically, blaming the gold's weight for the turbulence, which cleverly begins to loosen the jet's metal skin, revealing its identifying signals to Interpol. Back at the airstrip, Magnus confronts a henchman, disarming him but then abandoning the weapon. The gun, altered by Magnus to malfunction, injures the henchman when he attempts to use it. Meanwhile, Huxley realizes the gold hasn't reached its intended train station destination. He learns from an associate that their plan has failed, and the gold is en route to Jorgensen's estate. In response, Huxley alerts NATO to a potential terrorist threat. Jorgensen is in a meeting with a representative from Leviathan, explaining that the delayed gold shipment was actually a strategic move to divert the attention of law enforcement. Harry, communicating with NATO, emphasizes that there are civilians aboard the private jet, just as NATO fighter jets encircle them. Despite the potential presence of civilians, Huxley gives the order to shoot down the private jet. Cyrus uses a pole to disarm the guards and engages them in combat. Abby quickly takes control of a remote, using the jet's large display screen to show that there are civilian hostages on board. This act persuades the NATO jets to abort their missile attack. Following their departure, one of the henchmen confronts Camilla at gunpoint. She momentarily stabilizes the jet before engaging with the assailant, who then subdues her, causing a wrist fracture. Camilla feigns compliance but abruptly maneuvers the jet sharply, disorienting the henchmen. During this chaos, Cyrus battles Cormac. Abby utilizes the remote to open the plane's door, ejecting Cormac before sealing it again. They hurry to the cockpit as Camilla, hindered by her injury, is unable to pilot. The plane, however, suffers further damage when another piece of metal dislodges and impacts the hydraulic pump. Despite the intense pain, Camilla manages to control the plane using the engines, executing an emergency landing directly on Jorgensen's estate in Tuscany, resulting in a crash landing. As they recover from the landing, Cyrus, Camilla, and Abby are quickly taken captive by Jorgensen's armed men. The gold spills from the plane, and Cyrus spots a functioning camera. Jorgensen, arriving with his weapon drawn, interrogates them. At that moment, the Leviathan representative, informed about Interpol's involvement, calls off their agreement. Jorgensen shoots her first in the leg, and then fatally in the head when she refuses to proceed with the deal. When Jorgensen inquires about the identity of the Interpol agent, Cyrus steps forward, falsely claiming the role. Before Jorgensen can shoot Cyrus, the area is swiftly encircled by police, preventing any further violence. Jorgensen tries to argue that he was merely defending himself when they trespassed on his estate. However, Cyrus cleverly employs the advanced NFT technology developed by an eight to display video evidence of Jorgensen executing the Leviathan representative, leading to Jorgensen's apprehension. Huxley, along with another officer, arrives at the scene via helicopter. Upon hearing from the officer about Huxley's near decision to shoot down their jet, Abby confronts Huxley with a punch and resigns from her position. She then decides to join Cyrus and Camilla on a boat. In the weeks following the tumultuous event, Cyrus unveils to Abby a clever twist. During the airliner heist, the team had secretly swapped the gold shipment with fake bars of iron painted to resemble gold. The genuine gold was discreetly parachuted from the commercial plane to a predetermined location in the Swiss Alps. Luke, contrary to what was previously believed, had not abandoned the mission, but had remotely controlled the parachute to ensure the gold landed safely in a retrievable area. Huxley, upon discovering the deception and realizing he had been tricked with counterfeit gold, was furious. Meanwhile, Cyrus, Abby, and the rest of the team reconvene near a lake. They used the remote control to summon the gold, which had been concealed underwater, to the surface. As they gather around to witness their spoils emerging from the depths, 
the group celebrates their elaborate and successful scheme. Abby officially becomes part of the team, and she and Cyrus share a kiss, solidifying their partnership both in crime and in romance. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.